Hey guys, today I'm replacing the door handle micro switches in this Cadillac STS 2008. Just wanted to show you a couple quick pointers here. Uh, one, this has the keyless entry, so these are common for the switches to fail. Uh, I already did the testing on the switches and confirmed that was the, the failure point. So I'm not going to go into that right now, I just wanted to show you some quick details. Uh, today I'm actually replacing the whole housing because that's what the customer wanted. So got an OEM housing here with the micro switches in it. You can see them down here. A little focus. These two little micro switches. Anyway, when you're taking this door panel panel off, uh, you pull up. You got this, this leather down here. This this whole piece here. You reach in here with like a plastic screwdriver and. The, pull up the bottom and underneath that there's two Phillips screwdrivers. There's also one Phillips up in here behind, behind this cover up in here. Uh, otherwise it's just you know quick disconnect pins all along the back side and you have one electrical connection on this vehicle you know right down in the middle here. Uh, somebody was in here before so some I could definitely tell because uh, you know this was already all cracked up and everything. Uh, I mean this stuff is brittle though if you if you bend it just a little bit like show you right here you bend it just to, i mean it just cracks so it's old a lot of miles on this car anyway a couple other key things i wanted to mention to you this is the door handle which actually has a wireless remote and it senses the key uh, these can go bad also this one's not bad um to let's see you have one bolt on the back side in here take that bolt out it's a torx t25 and once you take that out, you can get your, your key, you know, uh, bezel off. And then you basically pull out on the handle and pull towards me, and it'll actually release the handle. Uh, you got two electrical connections, the one for the micro switches back here that uh, actually goes right on the back side in here. And then you have the antenna switch. And otherwise, you oh, I'm gonna drop my phone there. You also have the uh, key lock cylinder here, which has a clip. So you take the clip off and that'll just pop off. Uh, that clip looks like this. New housing comes with a new clip too. So you don't have to worry about bending that up. Um, anyway, getting ready to put it back together here. Uh, it also came with new gaskets, which go on the outside. That's nice. And uh, yeah, I just wanted to show you a couple quick pointers, uh, but essentially the only bolt to get the housing off are one on the, on the front, which you access from the front side. It actually goes right here, and you don't even have to fully remove it. You just loosen it, and this, this whole thing will slide forward. This is on the inside. And then the one on the back side, which is, like I said, a T25 Torx, and you access that through this. You t remove the plug here and you can get inside there to get that one off. Anyway, I know it's not the greatest video, but I just wanted to show you guys some quick pointers on it, so in case you don't feel like watching a 20 minute video on how to test all the switches and do everything and, you know, um, and, and step by step, here's some information, use it. If not, go watch the 20 minute video. Have a nice day.